Welcome back to MMA Odds Breaker. Today we're talking to Leonard Garcia. It's a Sunday, so I actually cut him on his day off. He tends not to do interviews on Sundays because he wants to take a full day, but I appreciate you making the making the excuse for me. No worries, man. Anything, anything from the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I like to hear that because I'm going to call in a couple favors later on too. So. <laughs> you're getting ready to battle up. Uh, you're getting ready to battle against um, coming up here pretty soon. What's it like right now for you? Like, how is how is training going for you at this at, right now? Good. You know, it, it's finally uh, starting to kick in. Like, uh, uh, you know, all the coaches are saying the same things. Like, man, your start, your 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 shape is starting to, to uh, you know, you're, like like you're you're coming around to to your your thoughts and and everything that you want to do is happening. It's not to where. You know, when you're kind of out of shape, if you think about wanting to do something, you kind of hesitate before you do it. So right now, it's like uh, it's clicking. Like if, if if I think something, it happens. You know, it's it, it, my my body's not waiting on my mind to tell me what to do. It's all clicking together. So um, you know, we're three weeks out, and uh, my timing feels really good right now. My takedowns feel really strong, and and uh, you know, my 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 takedown defense is. Is, is I mean the best it's ever been right now. So um, you know I'm, I'm I'm real happy with that. Just just excited, man. I'm ready to get out there. Well, you you've been doing a pretty good job since since you left the UFC down there in Legacy Fighting Championships. This will be your fourth fight for them, and you've run through everybody they have they put in front of you. Does it does it feel like sometimes that you wish that Legacy could pull in some some higher name higher name guys to bring them in to to kind of get everyone else to start paying attention to Leonard Garcia again? Um, you know, yeah, it, 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 it's one of those things where uh, it, I had a lot of guys um, not want to take the fight at 145 um, for this next one. Um, I wanted to do a quick turnaround and wanted to fight right away. And, uh, you know, the, the promoter told me he was having problems finding guys. Um, and then uh, this, this Shane Howe kid came up and he was like, look, you know, I want to fight him. And, uh, you know, I've won my last six, so so let's do it. And, uh, you know, it, it seemed to... Uh, you know, it made sense. Um, you know, the thing is, this kid used to fight at 35. His whole career, I believe, this is his first fight at 45. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty big jump for him, and uh, I feel like, you know, it's 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 a it's a young kid trying to come up, make a name for himself. So it's a good fight for me. But at the end of the day, you do want, you know, I I, I do want a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, it's got guys that. That, that got a little bit of a bigger name or, 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 you know, got a little more notoriety behind them. But at the end of the day, man, winning is the, uh, the most important thing. It doesn't matter who they put in front of me. I have to win. So, um, you know, whether it's this guy or a guy with a big name or, or whoever it is, you know, my, my whole goal is, is to become a better fighter, and, and, and that's what we're doing. Who, how do you see this fight breaking down? Like, what do you see Sean trying to do to you once you guys get inside the cage? Um, you know, he, he's just a scrappy kid, man. He likes to come forward. Um, you know, unfortunately for him, that's my game. You know, I, it's like, uh, um, I mean, in, in anybody who, if, if I was his coach, I'd be telling him to try to take take me down. <laughs> and uh, you know, that that that's kind of what we're thinking. I fought one of his training partners um, before, and uh, you know, he 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 was, of course, he was a stud wrestler, and uh, he was able to get takedowns on me. So um, we're we're thinking, you know, that that they might try to change this kid's game up and and have him shoot a lot of takedowns. But I mean, as you know, if you're not used to doing that, man, you're gonna get tired. And uh, you know, my defense is there, so um, you know, I hope he doesn't just just burn himself out trying to do that. I hope he just comes in there and brings the uh, you know the fight that he always brings. He's one of those guys that he gets hurt and he keeps fighting. So uh, you know, it sounds sounds kind of familiar, but uh, you know, I I think. I'm gonna be the bigger guy, and uh, you know that, that that's that's just what we're you know my 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 strength and conditioning program is, is is through the roof right now. So I I feel super super strong, and and being that he's jumping up a weight class, um, I'm kind of banking on being stronger than him. Have you are you get, having problems trying to make weight now because you have put on a lot of size, a lot of mass as far as your strength? No, you know, man, you know what was crazy is is the the, the last fight at uh. At 145, I weighed in at 44, but I didn't have a sauna. Like I didn't have access to a sauna. I didn't have a, you know, the both places that I went to, the saunas were the heat element in it was broken, so I had to run the weight off completely. Like I had, I had absolutely no sauna, just a sauna suit and then a treadmill, and that was it. And uh, I made 44, and you know, I felt really, really good. 
course, uh, uh, um, I had to, you know, the, the, the rehydration period was, was kind of rough. That, that 24 hours out, I had never felt like that before. So I was a little bit worried. But then when I got in there and out of the fight, I was ready to go. So, Well, it's, I thought for sure you'd have to be having a lot more problems trying to make weight. But for you to make 145 without a sauna and just running it off, that's huge. Because people don't understand that I haven't cut weight before. Without that extra, that extra heat element coming in, in the sauna, it's so much more difficult to get the weight off. Most guys Dude, it was won't brutal, be able to do it. Man. That's, that's, yeah, it was brutal. That's incredible to you, and it says a lot to your strength and conditioning staff because you were in shape to cut weight. That's one of the things I always try to tell everybody. If you want to cut a lot of weight, you have to be in shape to do it. That's often yep. being in a, in a good training camp. Obviously, it's working for you. What else is different about Leonard Garcia since – because obviously you, you lost five in the UFC. You're on a three-fight win streak right now, Legacy Fighting Championships, about to be a four-fight win streak. But you're not just – it's not just a level of competition you're facing. You're a different fighter. You're a different guy now than, than when you were in your fight in the UFC. What what else is different about you that the fans don't know about? Man, you know, I, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, man, but, you know, it's just, man, uh, I mean, with, with, with without, you know, um, you know, trying to be too cliche about it or anything, but, man, I, I mean, I'm telling you, uh, uh, being being uh, in the Bible and, 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 and understanding how, how things work now, you know, um, you know, taking time from, from TV or taking time from doing other things to, to read a little bit and try to understand more about, you know, what, what I need to do in my life to, to, to be more complete as far as uh, what I need to do in, as, as, as Christian values to become a better person, man. It's just made me a better fighter. Um, you know, even my coaches, uh, uh, my training partners, everybody sees it. I mean, guys that, that, that used to talk to me that, that, talk to me now they're like man that dude used to cuss like a sailor you know and, and uh now it's like he doesn't cuss at all and you know i mean it's just small things like that man that make people really appreciate being around you and and i think it helps out a lot man because there's a lot of guys that are willing to, to pour more time into me like uh you know i spent a lot more time with greg jackson uh, uh as far as uh, uh personal training um uh, mike valley also the striking coach i, I mean you know we, he 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 ask me questions about, you know, like what, what, what I was into today or what I read today and stuff like that. So it's like, I'll, I'll pour out stuff into them and then they, 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 they bring it back to me. So, you know, I mean, I don't want to sound like one of those guys that, Oh, you know, I, 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 I you know, it's, it's just cliches when, you know, when you hear people, Oh God changed me in this and that. But at the end of the day, man, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. And, and uh, I feel like, you know, just just becoming a better person in that way has helped me a lot at, in, in the gym and and just in general, man. I don't I don't care what your what your belief system is or, or how you how you do it, but it, there is a standard that goes with if somebody has a belief in a higher power, no matter who it is or what it is, that they always seem to do better in their life as a whole. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be God or Jesus Christ. It could be Allah. It could be you know Muhammad. It could be Buddha. It could be anything. It's just, as long as you have a belief in a higher power, whatever it is, and you have a firm belief and understanding of it, everyone s tends to do better. And it's obviously it's worked for you because you are even through our interviews. You know when I interviewed you before the Max Holloway fight, and I interviewed you before the Cody McKenzie fight back in the UFC. You're a different guy from even then. And in the interviews, it yeah. comes out not even your fighting is better, but you as a person is better. And so I don't like I'm telling the folks at home. I don't care what their what their belief system is. If you have a belief system in something, you're going to be a better person regardless of what it is. Awesome, man. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%, and that's, that's, that's been the ticket for me. And, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of people will say, you know, well, what's going to happen when you lose? Or, you know, are you going to blame it on that? Or are you going to blame it on this? I mean, at the end of the day, man, if you're working hard, this is how I feel about winning and losing now. Uh, if I'm working hard and I'm doing everything that I got to do and I go into that fight prepared to do everything I need to do, and if I lost, it was to a better guy, you know, and that, that's just all there is to it. So, um, you know, you, you, you have to learn to accept that. And, um, you know, right now with, with everything clicking, man, it's, it's hard to find guys that are beating me in the gym. So, um, you know, and, and we, we got a high caliber gym, you know, I, I, I go with, um, you know, really, really big names in, in, in the UFC every single day. I test myself against these guys and I'm beating them. You know, in the gym, I'm, I'm I'm winning the exchanges, I'm winning you know the scrambles, I'm doing all the things that I need to do. So, you know, I just go into these fights just a hundred percent more prepared, and I and I feel great, man. You know, we 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 have a good time doing it. And right now, there are like 
I'd say 18 guys in the gym that are getting ready for fights coming up. So um, we, we, we got a lot, a lot of people getting ready. So, so you know, you know as well as I do, anytime you got a training camp full of other people who are getting ready for a fight, it's just a different feeling. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a great feeling to have it like that. Well, Leonard, I really absolutely. appreciate you coming on here, man. It was great to talk to you. I'm glad that things are going so well for you in your personal life as well. Now it's in, in the fight game is, is really starting to show it. Have a, have a good time coming up here on uh, Legacy Fighting Championships, and we appreciate you coming on here. Appreciate you, Frank, man. Anytime you need me, man, just give me a call. You got it, sir. I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks, buddy.